Hello everyone. In this session, I'll show you how to use the Fury Apps library in a much more efficient way. So if you're working as a Fury UX architect, uh, the functional team might come up to you and give you a whole bunch of Fury Apps and ask you to get the details of those Fury Apps. Uh, so for example, they may give you like, uh, in this case, I have just about 10 Fury Apps, uh, but chances are they'll give you like 100 or 200 Fury Apps, and then you have to go find the business role, uh, the business catalog and so on from the Fury Apps library. So one of the way you can do it is manually. So you can take this Fury App ID and then you can go to the um, you can go to the Fury Apps library and then you can search for this ID here. So you can put in this ID here and then get the corresponding Put the ID here and then once the app shows up uh, then what you can do is you can find all the details of that app so here is the process billing orders uh, then you go into the implementation information and if you go into configuration you will have all the details for the UI5 application, the OData service, uh, the business catalog, the business groups, business roles, and so on. Um, now, this is going to be time consuming. So say if you had, uh, in this case, I have 10 apps, uh, and then you have to do this 10 different times. You have to copy, paste, um, and then say if there is uh, 200 apps, uh, then obviously this task becomes uh, much more unmanageable. Uh, so there is an easier way to do this. Uh, so that's what I'm going to show you in this episode. Uh, so what you do is uh, you go into the Fury Apps library and there is a way to, there is a way to download the entire Fury Apps library as a spreadsheet. Um, granted, it's not going to download the videos and help documentation and so on. But all the relevant information that you need, you can download it as a spreadsheet. Uh, so what I usually do is I just go all apps for S4 HANA. And this includes the legacy app as well. Uh, so uh, I just go ahead and download the entire Fury apps uh, library. So I go to all apps here. So once I go and I see that there are 10,902 apps, and obviously this includes Fury apps and the legacy apps, but I'm going to download the whole shebang. So I click on this uh, button here, and this is going to select all of the apps. So go ahead and select this, click on this button, and this selects all of the apps. And then you click on aggregate. So what this does is it aggregates all of the apps and then it gives and it can present it to you in a list form. So I click aggregate, uh, it takes a little bit of a time. And then you will see that here it's going to show you a detailed view. And there are, so I'm using 1909, S4 HANA 1909. And you can already see that there are about 10,834 apps. So let me wait for this to get complete. Yeah, so it is complete. So I click on this thing and it gives me a detailed view of all the apps. Uh, but I don't like this uh, this UI. So I go into the list view. So this is what I'm interested in. So click on list view. And this gives you in a nice uh, list view format. Now, once this thing shows up, uh, what I do is I click on this column display settings. So click on this and choose all the relevant columns that you want. Uh, I really don't care about the screenshot, so I can uncheck the screenshot. But what I'm interested is, uh, I'm interested is in the, maybe the role name, um, but I'm more interested in the business catalog, the business group, uh, the business PFCG role, the data service obviously and also because um, the functional team also wanted the uh, semantic object actions so I'm going to click on the semantic object action as well uh, so now we have a whole bunch of all the information that we need so what I can do now is I can go ahead and I can say okay to this um, so let me go ahead and say okay to this now this here uh, uh, down below you see this download button so click on the download button and this will download the entire 
entire Fiori Apps library as a spreadsheet. Uh, so once the download is complete, it takes about uh, 30 seconds or so. Uh, once the download is complete, um, open up that spreadsheet. So let me wait for the download to complete. Okay, the download is now complete. So what I do is I go here, I open this file, and I copy the entire contents of this file into my spreadsheet. So let me open all this, and I copy this entire contents of this file, and I go back to the file that the functional team gave me. I create a new tab, so you can click on this plus button, new sheet, and then I renamed it as all apps. And what it did was I copied the entire contents here. I kind of formatted the top uh, line, but pretty much the entire Fiori Apps library, I copied it onto the spreadsheet that the functional team gave me. Okay, so now we have uh, the Fiori Apps that the functional team wants, wants us to get the business role and so on. And now we have the entire Fiori Apps uh, library in this uh, worksheet. Now we can Again, do it manually. We can go here, look at the, um, ins we can check the OData service and copy it. But there's a much more elegant way using the macros. Uh, so that's what I will be doing to create a macro that can populate all of this for me. Uh, so what I do is I create another sheet and I renamed it as macros. So I have the sheet called macros. Where you can enable the developer tools is you go into file, you click on options here and then when the options button uh, shows up then you can click on the customize ribbon and you select the developer tools on the main tab and then you say okay uh, so once you do that you will have the developer menu on the spreadsheet so click on go to the uh, newly created worksheet the macros and uh, click on developer and you want to be in design mode so click on design mode uh, so right now you're in design mode and then what you can do is you can go into insert and then create a button here so you click on this button here and then you drag and drop this button here any way you want and you can change the properties so what i've done is i've said get app details uh, so you can right click on this and go into properties and change the display for the button uh, so once you have this now you want to run the you want to create the macro itself uh, so double click on this to open up the vba code uh, so you have the vba code so in this case I already have the code here and I will also uh, have a link to this uh, spreadsheet so you can use this code as a template uh, but basically uh, this is what we are interested in doing so we have uh, the Fiori apps that the uh, functional team gave us so we want to take we want to loop through this uh, list of Fiori apps so we want to go from this to all the way through 13 so we want to loop through this and as we are looping through this we want to loop through all the apps here and then find a corresponding match so we start a loop here and then we start another loop here and then when the first app is found in this all apps uh, what we do is we we grab the corresponding information and then we throw it in in this in this worksheet so that is the end the idea behind it so let's see how we do this so here is my macro the vba code so the first thing i do is i try to find the number of apps that the functional team gave us uh, so this uh, uh, this formula here uh, it gives you the number of apps that the functional team gave us uh, so here what we are doing is the Fury apps. This is the name of the worksheet and then we do this Excel up dot row. So this goes all the way from the top 1 to 13. So it gives you all the rows, um, like it gives you the count of the rows uh, in this worksheet. And similarly, we do the same thing for the all apps as well. So we want to find out how many lines are here. And this uh, gives you the number of lines in the all apps as well. So like I said, we want to loop through these two worksheets. So first I'm going to loop through the number of Fiori apps. And if you see, 
uh, the first line is just a header. So I skip the first line and I loop from 2 all the way through 13. So this is what I'm doing. I'm looping from 2 to the number of rows. And what I do initially is I'm going to set this blank. So initially this is already blank. But let's assume that this had some values in it. So I just, I'm just going to clear it off uh, to start with. And then, so this is what I'm doing. So I'm going to go to cell 3. Uh, I is going to be 2. So we know I is 2, which is the second row. And then C is 3. So this is 1, 2, 3. So third column, I'm going to set it as a blank and 4, 5, 6, 7. So to start with, I'm setting everything to be blank. Then I'm going to start the loop for all the apps. Now, as I loop through all the S4 apps, so which is all the apps here, if I find a corresponding match, so if I find a corresponding match, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to populate cell 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's going to be these cells here, uh, cell 3, which is C, D, E, F, and G. So I'm going to populate these cells with values from this worksheet. And if you look at it, I'm going to populate it from cell 17. Now, cell 17, uh, I'm thinking is the business. Uh, let me check which one it is. It's going to be the business role. So if I go all the way down here, uh, and I should see business role somewhere. Yeah, so there's the business role. So Q corresponds to 17. Uh, so basically, that's what I'm doing. I'm just uh, uh, getting the cell value 17, and I'm throwing it into C. So 3 is C. And I'm going to do the same thing and for all of this. And once I'm done, I'm going to exit this loop. So it goes to the next uh, next app in the in the queue and so on. So basically a very simple macro VBA code. Now what you can do though is uh, your requirements may be slightly different. Uh, so based on your requirements, uh, you can uh, you can modify your VBA code in whatever way you want. Uh, so if they had asked you for other values, so you can capture other values. But if they had uh, different requirements, you can modify your VBA code uh, in whatever way you want. But the key here is to get the all the apps from the Fiori apps library, throw it into this uh, worksheet, uh, create another uh, worksheet called macro, and then, uh, 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 and then write your macro code. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just run it. So to run it, I need to get out of this design mode. So I, I go out of the design mode, and then I run it. So you can see that it is already populating all the values, and it says complete. And voila, I have all the information, the business role, the business catalogs, business group, everything populated for me. OK. Uh, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll leave a link for this macro-enabled Excel spreadsheet, and you can change it whatever way you want. Okay, thanks.